Life has always given me lemons, but recently I've been getting more than usual. Seriously, I'm starting to feel like that limes meme from back in the day. So naturally, I figured it'd be best to make some lemonade while spilling the tea about what's been going on. Let's rewind to about five months ago. My kids just got out of school for the summer and boom, one of them somehow got lice. This has been an ongoing battle since then. We think it's gone and then someone else ends up with it. Keep in mind that I have five kids. It just kept hopping around between everyone and wouldn't freaking die. Eventually, we did get it all. Or so we thought. Two weeks ago, we had been lice-free for almost a month. Then we noticed one of the kids digging in their hair. Well, you guessed it, lice. That's when we figured out that our cats had it too. Lice isn't supposed to be cross-species. At least that's what the internet told me and everything from the internet is true. So we treat the kids, we dip the cats, we strip all the beds and wash the sheets, I rip apart the couch and throw the cushion covers in the wash, we vacuum the entire house twice in three days, I mop all the floors and deep clean the bathroom, I pulled an all-nighter making sure my house was clean and safe for my family. I swear this is the cleanest my house has been since we moved in. We seem safe for now. Now this is just one of a few issues that's been going on at the same time. We bought our car right before used car prices skyrocketed back in 2020. And we've had some big issues pop up with it over the last few years. Our inspection for this year cost us almost two grand in repairs. Normally, we would have said screw that and looked for another car. But even the worst used cars in my area were ridiculously overpriced. I'm talking 1994 Dodge pickup, only one wheel, no engine, all airbags deployed, runs great. $5,000 or best offer. That's the kind of garbage I was running into. So we ended up biting the bullet and getting the repairs done. Well, since we did that back in March, we've had more issues. We had to replace the radiator, then the camshaft sensor went bad. Thankfully, the missus is pretty car smart and figured out how to fix that. Right after that, our serpentine belt shredded. Fine, we replaced that. Then, I took my kids grocery shopping with me. We do our shopping and we head back to the car. I go to start it, and it sounds like someone kicked a velociraptor in the balls. It started up, but stalled out almost immediately. I had to walk home with two of my kids. Thankfully, we live fairly close, but obviously walking down the road with two kids under 10 is not ideal. So we did some research and we're sure the camshaft is bent, meaning that we'd have to completely rebuild the engine to fix it. We can't afford something like that. We can't afford another car right now either. Mrs. had neck surgery about a month ago. She was the sole breadwinner while I stayed home and did stupid things like make videos about lemonade. She's getting short-term disability while she's recovering, but it's only a fraction of what she made. Even before then, we've never been well off. Honestly, we've just been extremely lucky when it came to finding cheap cars. And then don't even get me started on those damn yellow jackets. Two whole weeks of them infesting my basement. That was a nightmare. So all of that, along with the fatigue from my MS piled on top. It's been an exhausting last few months. This is why I haven't been able to work on the content I promised you all, and I feel so bad about that, I'm sorry. It's just been too chaotic and stressful. As for the whole kick situation, I was gonna bring back Grandma Pie for that. Some of you old heads might know what I'm talking about, but that was the thing when I had around 1k subs. But with all the crazy going on, it just wasn't feasible. Plus, all the controversy they've been having lately. Look, honestly, Kick seems to be the place where all the losers that get banned from Twitch run to. After thinking about it, I don't want to get mixed up with that kind of crowd. Now, by the time this goes live, I should be streaming MGS3 for you all. Once that's finished, and we play the Modern Warfare 3 beta, I'll be taking a short break to pump out some Metal Gear videos before the Master Collection releases at the end of the month. I might hop on a couple other times to stream the MW3 beta, but we'll play that by ear. So, here's to hoping that one of my videos pop off here soon and I become a YouTube millionaire overnight. Special shout out to channel members Anna Rude, Bruno, and Donut.